this one's too perfect. Today, I'm going to Manchester Field. And now I'm in bus, starting early morning from Nottingham. So now, just two minutes before, we got down from the bus and arrived at Chesterfield Town. So, be with me! There's the crooked spire! Can you see this? <laughs> Fish and chips. I just love this. And today being Sunday, you can see the artisan market which is very famous in Chesterfield, the video of which I have already shared. So now we are heading towards the Crooked Spire. The one which is Chesterfield famous for. This is a small town, but it's a beautiful one. And today being a sunny day and a lovely Sunday, everyone is enjoying. This is a small town, but it has everything in it. And I'm loving it so much. Beautiful, beautiful local markets. The church. See, this is a parish church, as I said to you. Mother Nature is really awesome. <laughs> it's an umbrella tree. This is the world famous Crooked Spire Church at Chesterfield. It is the largest church in Derbyshire, England and its unusual spire stands 228 feet from the ground and leans 9 feet 5 inches from its true centre. Yeah, what is the history sir? Why it has been crooked? There are many theories. The absolute truth is that nobody really knows. But what we believe is that the spire, which was built perfectly straight, was built in a time period when the Black Death occurred. So a lot of the skilled craftsmen died during that time. The materials used, which was greenwood, needed to be seasoned over time. And the cross bracing that would have been put in to see that help the twist develop, because we believe the twist is a, a purposeful, the twist itself is a design feature. Okay. There are at least another 60 churches throughout Europe that do have twisted spires. Okay. The twist would have been a design feature, but because 
the skilled craftsmen who were killed during the Black Death, the cross bracing that was supposed to be put in to ensure that the twist developed properly, oh, it wasn't put in. So the spire was built in stages. Those stages eventually resulted in a perfectly straight spire which was clad with oak tyres. Okay. Over a period of time again, the weather got into it and the top part of the spire, the top 25 <laughs> feet or so, was rotten. So they replaced that top 25 feet with pine mm. instead of the oak. And at that point, round about 1600 we believe, the wood shingles were taken off and between 35 and 50 tonnes of locally mined lead was put on instead. And the end result was basically the lead was just too heavy. So you end with a twist, which we believe okay. would have been designed to happen, and lean because of the weight of the lead, which was totally accidental. Oh, okay. oh wow. great. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. And just now, I came to know, as well as Paul came to know, about the history of this spiral church. The church warden, Mr. Colin, just let us know. And it's just amusing because of the lead, the weight, the thing turned into spiral, into a crooked thing. Such a beautiful art you can see from the trunk of a tree. This is the visitor center of Chesterfield. <laughs> nice place. Calm and serene, yet so beautiful. Ah, oh my God. <laughs> Had a wonderful day in Chesterfield today and was really surprised to see the famous crooked spire. So how did you like guys? Please write to me in the comments. And now we are heading for the English Heritage Bolsover Castle. And soon I am going to share the beautiful experience of the famous Bolsover Castle of England. Please subscribe my channel and stay tuned for my upcoming blog that is of the famous Bolsover Castle. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.